my name is Sean N, CEO of Fashion Victoria Lab, and I'm here to introduce you our featured app called AC Moda. So ladies and gentlemen, have you been in that situation where you're hanging out at a lounge and you know that someone wearing a very cool jacket? So you uh, very much uh, want to find out where the jacket is from, but you don't necessarily want to bother that individual. Well, with AC Moda, we're here to solve that problem for you. On Google Glass, all you need to do is simply command OK Glass, shop for this jacket. It will then take the snap pick of the image and send it off to our preferred image recognition engine by Propexica. They will shoot back nine results back to our Fashionista dashboard, where professional stylists will hand select and hand pick the best three matching results for you. It will then get pushed to the user's class, and the user has the option of going back and forth, reviewing the three items, and make the top choice he like most. Once the top choice is selected, we give them the option of either buy directly via glass or search a nearby store, and even uh, pin it for future reference. So how cool is that? Our target market are early adopters, teens and up, uh, fashion industry, and retailers. Market size, uh, it is forecasted that about 3 million units will be sold by 2017, and 10 million units will be sold by 2017. We have a real strong team uh, with 30 years combined experience in fashion and mobile space, and also three highly profitable startups. We are going to add additional features and recruit more talent and fashion stylists. Example is if you take a snap pick image of a dress, for example, 
Um, it will pull up good results in addition to do some very random results. And so that kind of uh, you know, does not give an ideal uh, user experience. So we uh, decided uh, that this is our core part of our technology is our fashion dashboard will have uh, on call service of professional stylists who can then uh, you know, instinctively, since they are uh, in tune with fashion, instinctively within a matter of a couple of sec seconds, they can go ahead and choose top three at that moment. Okay, so we've got to do labor and that labor sure. tools, and then uh, a couple of steps of that, and maybe we can figure out how we make money. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to understand the economics of like, how you make revenue, how much it costs, I'm assuming this is some kind of reporting model possibly, but how much it would cost you on a per transaction basis and the kind of thing, the economy of volume you can make. Sure. Uh, so uh, we are uh, very early stage right now, and uh, our focus is actually get the product perfected so we can uh, improve our user experience and also grow our user base first. Um, once we do that, then we will focus our attention to uh, uh, revenue streams such as uh, generating revenue models. In addition to uh, possibly sponsored results pulling up um, with the top three results. In the back end, how much does it cost to actually have this labor force to get to this? So, you know, uh, we thought we very carefully about the uh, probabilities and statistics of, say, for example, even if we have 100,000 users, uh, the, statist the statistical probability of, um, you know, say a dozen people queuing at that very second is quite low. So uh, in actuality, we don't need that many uh, labors. We just need to have, uh, you know, just a reasonable, reasonable amount of uh, fashion stylists on call, and we plan to do so maybe with uh, crowdsourcing. <coughs> um, great presentation. Uh, I love, by the way, I was really looking forward to Jackie's presentation. Sorry, Jack, I don't know if you're going to be Can you talk a little bit how the team knows each other and then kind of what was kind of the founding moment of why you guys came together to build this? So um, we have excellent team members in our team. Um, I'm very proud to have them uh, you know, in our team. And uh, first off, uh, we're all passionate about Google Glass, and we all believe that this is our. Uh, this is the next game changer in a sense. Kind of like how um, when iPhone was first introduced, it, it was a game changer. And you know, if you remember, uh, there were a lot of uh, critics regarding the touch screen phones, the concept of going from all button phones to touch screen phones. You know, um, it's, it's a novel concept. Uh, similarly with Google Glass, I think until uh, one tries it out and really experiences, you know, firsthand, uh, it's really hard to grasp the experience. So um, as a matter of fact, uh, David, Chara, and I will be more than willing to give anyone a uh, thorough demo, just you know, for curiosity's sake. If anyone wants to try it out, we'll be more than willing to uh, give the demo for you. So you can do it right now. <laughs> oh, sure. I mean, uh, no, no, I, I, what's the background? <laughs> <laughs>
So I think it's really you know, up to the individual's responsibility. You know? Because if somebody wants to take a picture of anything, they, they can. And everyone has a So uh, my background is in uh, software engineering and also uh, consulting in mobile and wireless and broadband and also uh, some executive management. And uh, maybe I could uh, talk a little bit about my team members background too. So uh, David Lee, who's sitting over there, he's a, a very talented entrepreneur. He already had uh, two successful startups before. And Charles Kelly, Uh, she's an amazing um, entrepreneur herself, very accomplished businesswoman, and I'm proud to have such an accomplished woman in our team. And you know, going forward, we, uh, you know, we look forward to bringing in more talented uh, women, and you know, I'm, I'm all for empowering women. In, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, everybody, as you said, has a smartphone right now with a camera. Why make the bet on Google Glass and why not just make the bet on a camera, a, a smartphone camera, where we can all use it right now instead of waiting? I mean, your bet is big on Google Glass. And if that doesn't work, you got to have something else. Sure. Um, so uh, this kind of ties back to how we feel that um, Google Glass and uh, you know, reiteration of Glass and maybe some other headsets that you're going to do next. Uh, it's really uh, useful in the sense that, you know, I, I, I foresee a future where we may not need to be holding smart devices anymore. So in, in essence, it's, uh, we, have, we can have two hands free to do what we please and still have access to all that information we need. And so um, to answer more specifically about your question, you know, with smartphone devices, um, let's say someone is walking down the hallway, but they're wearing something really cool. It's, uh, you know, time, like, in regards to time, you dig it out of your pocket, or for women to dig it out of their purse, it's, it's really not effective. But when you have, when you have a headset uh, that's very human, like Google Glass, it's very efficient. Right. So, one last question. So, one strategic investor is just already in the case of who is your favorite business? Is it a CNET? Is it an Amazon? a very interesting question, right? Okay, so, um, you know, I, I would like to say, uh, this being a Google device, I would love it if Google was interested. And uh, also, uh, I highly respect Amazon and Jeff Bezos there, so I'll go that. Thank you.